Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change the font on your Weebly website in 2023. The font you choose plays a significant role in the overall design and user experience for your website. By customizing the font, you can create a unique and visually appealing website that matches your branding. So let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type webly.com and hit the enter button. That will normally take you directly. Sorry, I did not mean to go here. Here. So that's what should take you directly to the home screen or or main screen of the Wibbly website. And of course, you will have for you if it's your first time to log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you can simply click on sign up or create a, a website now. And that will take you to a prompt and follow those prompts to uh, create your account and of course, even website if you want. So don't worry, first of all, there is a free plan if you want to use Wibbly, but of course it will not have a lot of features, so make sure to go and get a plan if you want to get more professional if you want to. Then, let's just get into our size example by clicking on the sites once we are logged in into, into our account. Of course, if you just created your account, you'll have to go and open a theme option as an example for yourself. And of course, once you choose the theme, you'll have to go and customize your pages and a lot of other stuff. And of course, you'll be able even, even to select the phone, uh, the phone settings if you are just creating your account. But if you created your account already and you want to change the font, what should you do? You can simply go to this theme option. And once you click on it, as you can see, you'll find this change font option. Once you click on this change font, as you can see, you'll find a lot of areas. You'll find the header area, the general area, the media area, and the store area. Click on whatever area we would like to change the fonts of it. As an example, the site title, you can simply click on it and go to the style. And as you can see, there's the default normal italic. And that's actually the font that you would like to choose uh, or to change. So simply go and try whatever font you want from here. And whatever suits you, you can simply choose it and start using it. Of course, this will not work just for this uh, header or the site's uh, title of course this will work for everything on the site as an example so you can choose whatever suits you as an example uh, maybe the headings the subheadings you can go and change the font of it as an example you just go here and change the font and as you can see it's changing right here so of course if you want so you can simply go back to whatever font you are using and of course as i said you'll be able to change it uh, on all the other fonts here other than that, as an example, you'll be able to go and uh, add some pages example. So simply you can click on pages right here. And as you can see, you have here a large amount of pages. So simply, if you don't have the necessary pages, an example for me, I have home, shop, about, updates, con uh, contact, blog, new page. Of course, I can go and rename the page example to whatever I want. And I can copy as an example, I can delete it. I can go and add some pages uh, as a drop down menu for this as as you can see if you if i go here and click on this i'll find the home and i'll find in the drop down menu shop about updates why because i don't have those on the same line as you can see if you click if if i put them here as an example so let's just go and wait close this and as you can see those are is the drop down menu of uh, home and those will be drop down menu of update let me just show you an example go to updates and as you can see that's because i'm putting them on the same line so if i put them right here as an example uh, they should not be now on the drop down menu i simply have to go and drag them out of the drop down menu and here you are as an example now i'll find them all here 
as you can see all the pages i'll find them here if you want to put one as a drop down menu of the other one simply you'll have to go and tilt it a bit into the right and this will put it at just drop down menu for home if you tilt it more to the right that will put it as a drop down menu for the thing before it as you can see this blog will be a drop down menu for updates and etc if you want to put it back simply go and put it back to the left and as you can see you will be good to go as you can, uh, and of course you'll be able even to add more pages as example sunder page blog page category page products page external page and non-clickable menus example other than that you can even click on theme and as you can see you'll be uh, or you find here the light theme and the dark theme and of course let's just get back into dark this will hurt my eyes and of course here as you can see change theme if you click on it you'll be able to change whatever theme you choose once you are creating your accounts as an example You'll be even to import any theme that you have. An example, if you want to, if it's not existing in Wibbly, you'll be able even to change fonts. As an example, the site title, navigation menu, phone number, headline, subheadline. Of course, this is for the header area. The, the general a a area, you can change the font of it, the media area, and the store area also. Of course, you'll even and be able to click on this theme option as you can see there is the search box if you want it to, if you want to have it make sure to turn it on and if you don't make sure to turn it off and of course uh, you'll have even this up options to add as many apps that you want so whatever you want to add in your website you'll be able to add it here as an example and of course there is this settings option here the settings option as you can see if you click on settings just general and here you'll be able to uh, change the site address if you want to the site title the site category ssl is enabled or disabled you'll be able to disable it or enable it and you'll be able to put a site password and as you can see here site format an example there is this seo option which will increase the keywords or you can type the keywords uh, to attract uh, customers to your website. Example, there is this editors option. You can add any editors that will be able to edit anything in your website. Example, you can put other people that can edit in your website. There is the member option. You always, of course, you can add any members to your website again. And of course, there's here my apps. You'll find all the apps that you have. And my blogs here, you'll find, as you can see, those options. Of course, if you find any issues again, you can simply go always to this help option and click on support and of course this will take you what right away to the support and you'll be able to see if other people have the same problem and you still have the or if you didn't find your problem here you'll be able to scroll down uh, and find for okay here here is community at the top of course you can click on community and try to find a solution for your problem or you can even go and contact the support if you didn't find an, a solution here or even with the community so it just gets back here and normally that's gonna be it so let's just wait for the home page until it comes and here we are so if you reach the sponsor of this video congratulations you've successfully changed the font on your webly website in 2023 of course by selecting a font that aligns with your brand identity you can enhance the visual appealing or appeal and readability of your website Experiment with different fonts and styles to find out the perfect combination. And of course, if you have any further questions or need further assistance, you can go to this help and support and look for support for yourself or even leave a comment down below. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching again and happy website customization and I will see you in the next video.